Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is Sunday Omni. If you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing and be sure to like this video as well. Also, don't forget to turn on the notification bell. This way you'll be notified every single time I upload a new video on my channel. So in this video, we are going to be talking about talk show host Wendy Williams and some more updates. If you guys have not had an opportunity to check out my video yesterday where I told you guys that Wendy Williams situation right now has a lot to do with some work being done inside work people who know her people who are betraying her and from what i'm hearing now is that wendy williams lawyer lashawn thomas is speaking out on her behalf and saying that wendy williams is not being treated at all for dementia there's rumors being spread around about her and allegedly it has to do with the woman at the bank that's right her former financial advisor that she fired and i'm hearing that she worked there for four years at wells fargo but she's known wendy for over a decade allegedly so okay where do we start i told you guys yesterday that i believe this woman was angry that Wendy Williams fired her from handling her financial accounts. She has personal accounts and business accounts with Wells Fargo. And this woman allegedly told Wendy to join Wells Fargo and that's why Wendy joined it. And they were friends, allegedly as well. You guys, what happens when you get rid of a Karen? It's never easy. It's never easy. All right, so these are the consequences. And first of all, don't let your friends handle your money. I don't think it's a good idea, okay? Because when you stop being friends with someone that's handling your money, what do you expect is going to happen? Okay, I'm just glad that Wendy Williams' team is denying that she's being treated for dementia. She has no mental health issues, in my opinion. I've said this over and over again on the channel. Everything with Wendy is physical, and this is according to her brother, Tommy Williams, and I choose to believe that. But I'm glad that her, her attorney is fighting back because this is getting out of control. But guess what? Wells Fargo is defending Karen. Yep, they are defending her and um, they are coming for Wendy Williams. And Wendy Williams attorneys are asking and demanding, they actually put a restraining order in place and asking for Wells Fargo to unfreeze her um, money. I want Wendy Williams to escape the situation because they're also filing, um, oh my goodness, I told you guys they're trying to get um, a guardianship on Wendy as well, which I think is unbelievable. Like, it's amazing how vicious some people can be um, and how far things can go. So it's amazing to me also how this woman, Karen, I'm just calling her Karen, you guys. Her name is like Julie or something like that. But anyway, she's a Karen. She's got the Karen behavior, um, all of it, okay? She is a friend that got cut off as a friend and now wants to play with Wendy Williams' money. Pretty simple. It's really easy for me to understand. That was also what I guessed yesterday in yesterday's video. It was pretty clear to me because when Wendy Williams' team first described her as a disgruntled employee, I knew, because disgruntled means angry, you know, dissatisfied. I knew this woman getting fired by Wendy because Wendy's a big celebrity with big money and for her to get fired by Wendy, she probably felt insulted, you know, and she was like, I'm going to show you. So she contacted, of course, you know how Karen's operate. She said, can I speak to the manager or the owner of the bank? We need to freeze her money because she is not of sound mind and she cannot handle her finances. She is being exploited. Who is she being exploited by? If there's anyone that's exploiting Wendy Williams at this time, I would have to say it's definitely this Karen that works at the bank. I don't understand how they can even trust her there. When this case is getting out of control, this woman is allegedly spreading rumors about Wendy Williams as well. Talk about betrayal. Okay, first of all, you know, I'm going to say this. I really think that Wendy Williams befriending and being friends with this woman, somebody that's handling your money and you're friends with this person, and you thought that by getting rid of this person as your friend, your money was going to be okay? No. Don't be friends with people, your accountants. Like, don't be friends with people that handle your money. 
um that's just what i that's what i think like don't don't someone that has access to your bank accounts no i mean if there may be like uh, i don't know bookkeeping as well well i don't know bookkeeping is different where this woman actually works at the bank she has a lot of power you get what i mean like someone who's actually i yeah bookkeeper i would say okay it's okay i don't think that's a bad thing because i have a friend that's my bookkeeper i don't think that's a bad thing she doesn't have access to my money and stuff like that you know what i mean um but wendy williams friend here former friend former friend karen here she had access to wendy williams accounts and wendy actually complained about this woman several times at the bank but nobody was listening nobody cared so they're all supporting Karen, you guys, at Wells Fargo. Um, they're not supporting Wendy Williams at all. They're doing whatever it takes to bring down Wendy Williams. You guys, the machine is after Wendy. These corporate giants are after Wendy Williams. I don't like this bank, especially just reporting this and hearing a bank treat a client like this. Where's the confidentiality? Where's the respect? You know, I don't like how this is happening. And it shows me, that's why I felt like this is personal. This is not just about the bank, Wells Fargo versus Wendy Williams. It's about this Karen being supported by her employee, Wells Fargo, against Wendy Williams. And they support Karen. I can't wait to find out what Karen has been doing with Wendy Williams' money. You guys, this is going to be a very interesting case. I support Wendy Williams in this situation. I'm just glad to hear that she's doing well. She's also going to be coming back to the show, according to what her lawyers are saying. Um, in statements, she's going to be coming back. And um, she thanks everyone for the support. She also talks about how Wells Fargo did not even respect the fact that her son, you know, is a power of attorney. They just overstepped so many boundaries, you guys. So it's just too much. I just wanted to give you guys an update um, that, you know, this Karen is not giving up. She's allegedly the one that's spreading rumors probably out in the media. All the stuff that we've probably been hearing about because she's a friend of Wendy Williams or she was a friend of Wendy Williams. She knows a lot of dirt about Wendy, you know, so now she is out here spreading stuff as well trying to destroy her reputation because she's so mad that she lost a millionaire client like wendy williams but wendy i'm also going to say this before i leave wendy has to be careful okay she's too trusting and it's like come on what were you thinking being friends with someone at the bank that's handling your money and then you have the nerve to get rid of them as a friend when someone's handling your money, you need to treat them with care, you guys. You have to be like, oh, I've just been busy, haven't had time to hang out. But you don't tell them, oh, I, you know, I want to get rid of you or whatever like this. You got to be really smooth the way you handle everything with someone like this. You got to be like, well, you know what? Um, I'm thinking of relocating. You know, I just bought a penthouse on this side of the city and um, there's this bank that's closer to me. And you know how I love taking out cash and stuff like that when I go out. Um, I was thinking that maybe it'd be a good idea for me to get a bank account here or just say, oh, my son joined this bank and was telling me all this great stuff about this bank. So I'm thinking of maybe moving and out, you know, moving my funds over there um, just so then that way I can be you know me and my son can have the same accounts and have the same um, financial advisors dealing with my son's account and my account or something like that. just something you guys just leave the Karen in peace but you know how Wendy is I have a feeling like when she cut this Karen out of her life she was just like don't call me anymore I don't want anything to do with you and then she went to go report I think Wendy Williams turned into a Karen first against Karen and said, can I speak to your manager? That's what Wendy Williams did. She was the Karen first because you guys, oh, by the way, you guys know that Wendy Williams um, is not in support of a Karen, right? Like, oh, she doesn't believe that it's okay to call people Karens. By the way, anyone can be a Karen, in my opinion. It doesn't matter what background you're from. 
anyone can be a Karen, but there's always going to be the original Karen. And a Karen is someone who's entitled, who has a lot of privileges, gets away with it. They can cry. Everyone believes them and their word matters. So Wendy Williams tried to be a Karen first by coming after this Karen. But guess what? Who believed the original Karen at the bank? Wells Fargo. They didn't even believe their own client, Wendy Williams, because Wendy Williams is not the original type of Karen. The original Karen is someone that has privileges and very entitled. Yes, anyone can be a Karen, but not everyone can do it the way the original Karen does it. Okay, in my opinion. So I don't feel like calling someone a Karen is something that's mean or rude no there are people who are very entitled and there's only one look of the original karen okay that really takes advantage and gets whatever she wants at times and is annoying many people from different communities have to deal with a karen the original karen there's husbands that are married to karens that can't stand them there are people who work with karens in the workplace that can't stand them and they just get whatever they want sometimes and they're being called out so i have no problem calling someone a karen if they're a karen but wendy williams has been uh played by a karen she tried to pull a karen on a karen and spoke to the manager against a karen and then the original karen got all the support and now wendy williams is fighting for her reputation she's fighting for her money because the original karen always wins you guys all right. Even if I tried to be a black Karen, I'm not going to get away with a lot of things. You guys, not a lot of people are going to have pity for me. You know, not a lot of people are even going to believe me. But the original Karen always usually gets believed. You know what I mean? So it is what it is. Um, Wendy Williams got played by a Karen. Wendy Williams was saying on her show that she doesn't like anyone being called a Becky. Oh, it's so offensive. Oh, anyone being called Karen. It's offensive. But I believe that Wendy Williams tries to pull out her Karen when necessary. And in this situation, she tried to be a Karen by contacting the bank managers to remove this Karen from handling her money. But then it backfired because we always know that Karen comes out on top sometimes. So Wendy has to fight this. And I do support Wendy in this situation. She has to fight this and um, we'll be here to watch and cover the story as well. Very, very toxic. Wendy Williams thought that she could be friends with anybody at the top. But no, sis, you can't. You have to move in silence. You need to be really careful. Keep your friends close to you. But people who handle your money and who are business associates are not your friend. Wendy should know better than this. You know, she knows a lot more than I do. She has a lot more life experience than I do. I'm just 36 years old. I'm not a millionaire. She is. She's in her 50s. She has lots of life experiences. I don't know what she was thinking about being friends with this woman. And now this woman has froze all her accounts. Her life is getting messed up right now. And it's really sad to see this happening to her. You guys, very tragic story. Anyway, be sure to connect with me on Instagram at Sunday Omni. And if you'd like to support me, please get your copy of my ebook. It's called More Than Good Enough. Sorry, you guys, this was a long video, but it all had to be said. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. Anyway, the woman's original name is like Julie or something like that. But we, she's got Karen tendencies, so we just got to stick to the Karen. Um, it's just much easier, okay, for us to identify her that way all right until we get more information about her but um anyway so um what was i gonna say before i end this video be safe you guys protect your money and just know that everyone's not your friend especially when you're a successful woman running a business be sure to set boundaries really have those boundaries up it's not personal it's just business you can be friendly with someone but they're not your friends, all right? Until our next conversation, take care of yourselves. Cheers.